Hey guys, how you doing today? Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the video. I'm Glenn Kay of Silent Takeover, Dolphin Shavers and Silent Shavers. Um, and today we're going to be having a look at some Town Hall 12 Overkill in this season's CWL. And that's a bat slap attack versus an island based design. Now as always, before we get started, if you find the video useful, please drop me a like or comment below. And also have a look at subscribing to the channel where you will find plenty more content and videos on Town Hall 8 through to Town Hall 12. And if you'd like to join me in Clash, then also check out the description below. You'll find the clan tags and the requirements for joining us, as well as a link for the Silent Takeover Discord. So first up, let's have a look at this season's CWL table. We're currently in second place in Masters 3. Doesn't look like we're going to get promoted, but we've certainly held our own this season and made progress compared to the last time we were in Masters 3. And the, so the attack itself was um, completed by myself on day one. You can actually see we did lose this war. Unfortunately, one of our guys wasn't able to make his attack and that ended up being the difference. So let's have a look at the layout that we're hitting. So yeah, it's the standard island based design. We see so many of these. Um, so you've got the four compartments, each with some heavy defense in there. And the plan for this attack is, as mentioned, it's bat slap. So we're gonna use the main bulk of our army to come across this portion of the base. And the bats are gonna deal with the top half of the base. Let's have a look at the army comp. So it's a standard bat slap setup. So we've got two archers, one whiz, five healers, an E-drag, 12 witches, two ice golems. We're gonna use the wall wrecker with a further ice golem and a pecker in there. Then we've got all the heroes, four freeze, one poison, six bats, and a CC rage. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start by creating a funnel. So we're gonna use an E-dragon right here to start taking out some of these buildings here. And the king is gonna come in here and he's gonna make a journey down this side of the base. Obviously that then creates our funnel here. And what we're gonna do, as always, we're gonna put the ice golem down first so that can start tanking for the wall wrecker. And when it's taken out, it'll cast that freeze spell for us. After the ice golem, it's gonna be the wall wrecker, the archer queen, the witches, the healers, and then the grand warden. So I do end up having a bit of a split with my army. So most of the troops do go as intended into this first compartment. But unfortunately the Archer Queen, or fortunately actually for this attack, what the Archer Queen ends up doing is she breaks off and starts coming down this channel here and does take out the Eagle for us. So the main bulk of the army does end up taking out as planned this half of the base here. What we're then left with is the bats portion of the attack. So the bats are gonna come in from here and they're gonna push into this first compartment here. And I will use a free spell just to hold up the eagle and stop the inferno tower. What we're then going to do, instead of using our next free spell, we're gonna use our spare ice golem here. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna tank on this whiz tower here which saves me using a free spell and the bats come in. So they'll hop from the Eagle and the Inferno over here and take out the Wiz Tower. What then happens, the next free spell placement is going to be right here. So on the Grand Warden, the Inferno, and there's actually a Tesla layer as well that pops. So we're gonna pop, drop down a free spell there. The final free spell that we use is going to be on this Wiz Tower here. So I know I mention it in every video, but splash damage is lethal to the bats. So that's what you want to be saving your free spells for. So the part, watch the pathing and drop the free spells before either a whiz tower or a multi-target inferno. By this point, all of my army converges here around the town hall. The bats are going to go round and take out the defenses around this bottom part of the base, while the archer queen deals with the town hall itself. After that, all we're gonna be left with is some cleanup. You will note that I swag the free spell, so I'm just gonna drop that in the center just to let the guys know that I've swagged it. And we also managed to not use our Archer Queen ability. So let's have a look at how the attack plays out.
Sorry, I'm just poised pausing the attack there i did forget to mention when the cc is triggered as you can see we've dropped a poison spell and then a rage on the witches just to help them deal with that cc and push on into the base And all we're left with now is the cleanup, so all times to it. And there's the swag freeze. And as you see there, there was plenty of troops left on the board. So there's the attack. I'm sure you'd agree that was total overkill there. And that's it for today guys, so if you found the video useful, please drop me that like or comment below and subscribe to the channel just so you're kept up to date when I go live with my regular uploads. Until next time guys, keep on clashing.